Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for Sagittarius. Welcome, Sagittarius. Hope all is well in your world. <clears throat> all right, so this is a general reading. I'm tuning into general energies, not one person specific energies. So take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, in the past, you were in Nine of Wands. This is typically seen as the battle-wounded soldier, someone exhausted, someone who's uh, creating boundaries, defenses. been through they've been they've seen it man they've they've seen some stuff <laughs> I feel like this is your energy so something that you've been through in the past <clears throat> that it's exhausting and you needed to defend yourself especially your heart space Ooh. It has to do with your emotions, who you are at the core of it, of things, and um, stability, your finances, job, home. Interesting. So something in the past... Feels it like whatever this, um, whatever caused you to be a battle wounded soldier type of energy, exhaustion, having to put up defenses. Because I'm getting that someone blocked your blessings, blocked your love, and blocked your stability. You are looking for equality, reciprocity, some type of balance to bring stability into your life. I I feel like the person you were connected with in the past, um, I feel like this is, this describes a, a battling between, in a, in a connection, a partnership, partnership where, um, you couldn't be yourself. There wasn't stability. Um, I feel like this person, it's kind of like this person refused to co-create with you. Um, they'll stay in the connection with you, but they're not taking part in any way of, of equal give and take to, to build anything new. This person might be bored or just distracted, or they were. This is in the past. It's like they couldn't. Um, I feel like you were reaching out to this person and, like, you know, hey, let's work this out. Let's create some opportunities. So, hey, there's something. This person might be um, just emotionally unavailable. They, I just, I feel like they, there's a switch. They just, you couldn't figure out how to get them to open up. It feels like you were in a connection and they were ghosting you. 
like they're they became more of a stranger to you than someone on the street because i mean i feel like a stranger on the street will talk to you and say hey what's going on yeah yeah uh, this person won't even do didn't even do that i can see why you had to, the exhaustion the battle wounded soldier I, like uh, you kept trying but with the way they things were going down and the confusion it created you you had to put up some boundaries to protect yourself the now the the good news in this story that i'm seeing is that this allowed you to find some inner strength um inner strength maybe because you're staying in a connection uh that's unsatisfying or habit or you felt that this person brought you stability um and instead you had to feels like nobody knows that you were really in a connection that was so where you felt so alone you know well at least you have someone at least you I feel like you're like, I don't, that's the thing is I don't have someone, I don't have a, a partner that's um, to co-create with. It's making me lose touch with who I am. It's making me, um, oh, oh, uh, depletion of, of love, like, um, God, it's so lonely. It's like being in a crowded room and being completely alone um, kind of messes with your mind. And no new opportunities, no new, I mean, you just, there's, you know, you can't make someone co-create with you. <laughs> Oh, this is so frustrating, just tuning into this energy and exhausting and heartbreaking and confusing. So if this is your story, I'm I'm sorry. This is this is tough. You have created a lot of inner strength from going through this. So silver lining. Let's keep going. All right, so Sagittarius. In current energy, you are the emperor. Ooh, ooh. That's ouch. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Wow. The emperor. Achoo. Emperor. Uh, at the psychic school that I went to almost a decade ago, um, whenever anyone sneezed, there was always this joke or belief that sneezing um, was releasing sexual limitation pictures, something like that. So I think it's kind of funny that that sneeze came on so quickly with the emperor card. So are you in emperor mode? Are you feeling yourself? Like not feeling you, not that kind of, it's not that kind of reading, not that kind of video, but feeling yourself as in like, oh yeah, I've got it going on. Feeling sexy. Something. Looks like I'm getting also in this, like in your energy and current time, present energy is that same, I've been through it. I've been through a lot. Don't test me feel like you have some rules about um, who has access to you and your energy that's helped you emperor up. There's still a little bit of defensiveness, but I feel like you're figuring out in this current energy um, in a real way and a, what your path is, what your where your future lies, like there's some type of clarity and confidence. 
and you're wanting to find success. You're wanting to connect with the soulmate, connect with, or you are connecting with the soulmate. Maybe twin flame type of energy. I could see why you're feeling good, feeling sexy, feeling, I feel like you're really understanding your value and worth. And you're looking for that match, the match to your emperor energy. It's like you're, this is very interesting. You're trying out new ways of thinking. Maybe learning something new. Maybe this new and different thing you're learning is um, has to do with what type of person you see as your match. Maybe exploring, like, you know, it feels like you've been attracted in the past to a certain type of person and you have not found the success that you wanted. And yes, it gave you strength, so much strength that you're now an emperor. But it's like you're you're trying a, some, a very new way of being because you're really wanting to have a long-term success finding that match I think it's been difficult you're now realizing that there were some limitations about how you view relationship connections that were keeping you stuck. You really weren't stuck, but it mentally, like it mentally stuck and unable to um, find an, a new way of thinking out, outside of that. It's very interesting. Looks like you have a friend around you in current energy. This is someone who's um, not very emotional. Someone who's very matter of fact, very direct with their communication. Someone who finds it easy to communicate with anybody. Very logical. They might have. Oh, this is for a few of you. They might have kind of like a earthy vibe to them. I don't know why that's coming up. And I don't even know quite what I mean by earthy vibe. What's this friend? This feels like a friend. Clarification on the emperor's friend. Your friend is in a crossroads. Even though they're logical and intelligent and well spoken, they're unable to see what path to take. Feels like you guys are kind of mirroring a little bit here. Like you're trying to find your path and you're trying to, you're trying new things. You're seeing that old patterns uh, and ways of being have kept you stuck in the past. And so this person, this friend who's logical is a little too much stuck in their head and can't make a decision. And their inability to make a decision is keeping them stuck. It's creating a, 
a situation where they can't complete a cycle because a lack of decision. This is someone who is more than this friend of yours is much more comfortable in um, their mental body. They're not very comfortable with emotions. You might not be as well. However, this person just, it's like decision fatigue. This person cannot make a decision and they don't realize that that then becomes a decision. Not making a decision is a decision and their inability to pull a trigger on anything and make a choice is keeping them stuck so stuck oh tuning into this energy whoa are they depleting your energy because just tuning into their energy i'm exhausted like they they want to analyze their whole life they have a difficulty um making choices i think it seems to come from um an inner insecurity like real like this person might appear really strong and intelligent but underneath this is someone who is so insecure They're a horrible communicator. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I I don't know why this friend is taking up. Why why is this part? Of, it might be because you're you're trying to figure out how to help them, or. Is this someone that you're trying to decide if you have a future with, to, if you can grow anything with? Because this, there's this lack of communication, a lack of, I, I've never, uh, tuning into this energy, it's the smartest, it's the dumbest smart, the smartest dumb person or the dumbest smart, the dumbest smart person I've ever tuned into. Like they're so smart. This is an intelligent person. And they're also thick in the head in that they can't make a decision. Like they've got, it's like someone who's got access to volumes of information. This is someone who's smart, but not wise. This is someone who knows things, but doesn't know how to implement what they've learned and to practice into action. And so, um, and again, I feel like it comes from uh, childhood insecurity that they've never addressed. Um, they don't take responsibility for their choices. <gasps> I just, I, it's exhausting. It, whoever this is, is depleting your energy. I feel like you're trying to take a, a, a new turn trying to, trying new things, letting go of um, limiting beliefs, going at things at a new, fresh way, learning something about life in a new, fascinating way. Feel like you, you care about this person. You really do care about this person and you want to see them do well. It's um, it's hard to invest time and energy with this person because um, it's like you try to be their hype man, excuse me, their hype person and uh, bolster their confidence, but they, they have, it's like a black hole of, lack of confidence so every time you you give your energy to that you you hope they can use that information so they can find their own confidence but instead it just they they don't know how to stand on their own feet and as much as you care about this person it looks like um you you spend a lot of time giving to this connection 
and not getting much in return. It's frustrating. It's annoying. It's draining your energy. All right. Um, interesting. So I'm getting that All right, so I feel like this is over a girl or over, um, I'm reading these as masculine energies. The emperor is a masculine energy and so is the friend. So it doesn't have to be that you're obviously, it's not about gender, but there's two people who are in masculine energy that are friend and then there's this feminine energy so if how i'd read this if you are a female if you identify as female is that you are in emperor mode and you've got someone else who who is just a friend whoever would be uh romantic partner potential I feel like both you and your friend are interested in someone that maybe the same person why one of the reasons why you both are interested in this person is because like I said earlier it doesn't feel like you or this person have a depth of under, understanding or access to emotions currently. I feel that you've got potential for it, but you haven't been around anyone who will reciprocate, who um, is comfortable with emotions, who's comfortable in the heart space. And so there's someone, it looks like you, you both have an interest in this person. They're uh, not emotional, but they're very comfortable with their feelings. Mm. And it feels like it, feels like you liking this person has on in some senses been a nightmare <laughs> maybe the attraction maybe you can't you know being attracted to this person especially if they're your friends if there's some type of connection between you and your friend a friend who can't make a decision that has deep-seated insecurities. Um, maybe this is like an old match. They're very different. The friend, your friend and this person that you're both somehow connected with, uh, um, they're very different. Insecure person, insecure friend, not comfortable with emotions, very smart, no access to wisdom. This person who you're attracted to, very wise. Not saying they're not smart as well, but just a wisdom, an understanding, uh, tuned in. Very comfortable in their heart space. <laughs> okay <laughs> plot thickens it looks like um this person you are attracted to um also sees your friend as a burden that they've released that kind of thick energy that just exhausted 
energy that um whatever you put into this person just it does they don't learn how to utilize that energy and start creating it for themselves they just drain the people around them um unhealed traumas do that uh, unresolved issues there's some arrested development with this excuse me this person i feel like this person your friend is very successful but um they, they've skipped some steps and so the person that you both are interested in have has released this person sees this person as a burden and and a nightmare that they're coming out of there's something coming clean someone coming clean about some sneakiness sneaky behavior i feel like this tea is being spilled what is the tea oh stop i think this the person you're interested in left your friend, saw them as a burden because there's some sneaky behavior. Your friend was sneaky, maybe sneaking around, just not moving right. There's some uh, deception, betrayal, that's just not right. And so the person you're both interested in maybe your friend was married or somehow in a relationship with this person was was uh the person you're interested in walked away it was so it was dissatisfying incredibly just dis unsatisfying wow I, i'm so curious why this story is popping up um right now it may be because it's in your current energy maybe it's happening right now maybe the story is unfolding um it's so interesting because you're you're really wanting to find love and a connection and a real connection something lasting and some a different way a, a different type of something a new way of being and and then with that being said and you being sexy and feeling really good and strong and powerful, then this story comes in. It's related. So are you interested in your friend's ex? That could be, uh, that could be, that could come with difficulties. So in the center of your reading, Sagittarius, this reading is lasting a lot longer than expected. Um, didn't know it was going to get this uh, juicy. So, all right. In the center of your reading, your higher self wants to communicate about the hanged man. The hanged man is someone who's painted themselves in such a corner that they can't move. And they're so stuck that they they have to stop whatever they're doing because of the stuckness. And finally, by being so stuck, they're able to see something clearly and they come to an enlightenment. Wow. All right. So again is this new way this new way of being this new following your passions so in present energy there's you're moving out and thinking you're inspired to new ways of being learning a new way of being new way of thinking and now i'm getting that there's this new way of um behaving, following your passions. Are you becoming more intuitive? Are you allowing yourself? That's what it feels like. It feels like someone who's who's seeing how 
someone who's very stuck in their mental body is keeping them very stuck. Someone who's very strategic and sneaky this is the friend. Um, and their inability to make a decision is keeping them forever creating the same cycle of unhappiness. And I feel like on some level, you're seeing this. You're, you, you see how annoying this person is. Kind of what a drain that they, they, it just feels like, um, they're not going to change their mind, but I feel like you are, there's something about being around this friend that's helping you see that there's more to just being smart. There's more to just, um, relying on mental body that you, you want some fire, some passion, some heart space. And you have a calling. There's, I feel like this uh, enlightenment, this being able to see things from a different point of view is, um, it's creating a new you. It's like inviting your soul, inviting alignment with who you really are And there's something about these, these defenses that you built up in the past to guard yourself and guard your heart with this connection that you were in, in your higher self is saying, let down the defenses. Why let down the defenses? What does Sagittarius need to know? Oh, you, um, well, the friend's ex who you are interested in, it feels like you're interested in them. Um, I, I think you feel a calling on some level that, um, you like who you are when you're around this person. You feel your, it's like a, a recognition of each other, feel very comfortable, your heart space is open. Um, being around your friend's ex allows you to be yourself, feel comfortable with emotions. It feels like everybody else you're around either does not have access to their emotions or they don't know how to work with emotions. This person does. And it's an aspect of who you are that you really want to explore. A little fiery, not going to lie there. There is a, a loving energy between you and your friend's ex, but there is also um, passion. Feel like you don't want to want this person. It just makes everything really complicated and it already feels like a complicated story, like a telenovela. Just very, I mean, yeah, but your higher self is like, yeah, there's, there's some type of soul connection there and um, we all have choices. Interesting. So curious how the, if this is relating um, what your story is. The challenge right now, Sagittarius, is five of cups. 
this is someone grieving this is someone in a great deal of grief because they've lost three cups have spilled but they're so in their emotions they they don't realize that there are two cups behind them why is the challenge the five cups This is the, the year challenge is really, um, it's a tough decision. Do I mourn over what I don't have? God, this is, I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to translate what I read and use your discernment for choices. Um, there's some type of loss. God, I, I feel like this is your energy. Like you're grieving some type of emotional loss, some type of emotional connection. Are you not seeing this ex any longer? The Your friend's ex? There's some type of um, grief. They're not, they're not, I don't feel like you are talking to this person or seeing this person. And yet there's those two cups right behind. It's kind of like, I, I miss this person so much. I miss the connection. I miss having this heart space. Um, there are two cups right behind you. There's some type of opportunity and, and what I'm getting is that um, if you're going to choose and shoot your shot with your friend's ex, then now is go time. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I, I, I don't know. That's what I'm reading. That's how I'm interpreting it. Um, gosh, let me know if this resonates with you. Anything that you want to share. I love reading your comments. If you like this video and you're still here because this resonated, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like this video. And also, um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I can grow my channel and you can get more of these type of readings into your uh, feed. So, all right, Sagittarius, good luck. Bye.